what's up? Right. I'm not on the sub by choice. He at the crib now. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Fernando Godino. 16, 19 all over again, but we at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Luis Fernando Godinez Velasco. It's too fucking long, I think. Well, Fer- he didn't ask for all four. Uh, uh, Fernando Godinez. Okay, that's okay, yeah. Fernando. We, so, everybody just knows can him you as Fernando. That one? I, I should probably say that one. I'm sorry. Everybody <laughs> knows him as Fernando. <laughs> with a hard R. Yeah. At the age of nine. I knew all the words, and then Josh was like, I'm so not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Did I tell you, Josh? Did I tell you what Danny did the other day? No. He asked a Jewish girl for his her number. Yeah. You know what she told him? No. Um, she said, "We have names now." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she rolled. <laughs> Who approved that? I have none of, okay, none no, of that. Anyway, <laughs> Jonathan, what's been going on since you started? You got like I was just telling Jonathan hasn't even looked back at the old. Uh, uh, hacks when we were in San Francisco and he didn't even realize that like his episode like a lot of people saw it. it's like 700 people yeah. and he's like he, and I was like so when you go out do people recognize you from that thing because so many people saw it and he's like nah he don't, he don't really care he don't get into all that but we've been, he's been on three episodes that we've had so far okay. two in San Francisco and um, finally uh, we got him on here to the house and, yeah, and then I was thinking, like, you know, we've got a few commitments towards some uh, comics uh, to come on the show, like, uh, right off the gate, um, uh, Guillermo, um, who was on one of our shows already, um, Polly Escobedo, Jose Contreras, um, who else did, um, we asked a few, and a few, uh, and a few others I've reached out to that I can't um, think right now, and so, uh, <laughs> I can't think of everybody right now, Um and so basically, uh, when we did the other show, it kind of like if Josh can't make it or somebody can't make it, we just do the slander. Because as Mark Neuer says, what's the fucking difference? It's the same couch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Monica's going to be here in a second, um, s- sitting sitting in and fucking, uh, yeah. yeah, just reminding me of sh- um, topics that out. we forgot. <laughs> hey, what do you think? Like, you know, they had, they hid the tapes, but, you know, and jo- Danny wanted to do a, uh, do a skit on it. But like, what do you think they said in that sub as, the, as they heard the cracking around there? They didn't like, hear any they, cracking. You know, do they just get, like duck or like what do you do? No, you don't hear it. Oh, they, no. they went through it. They said it's like less than zero point. It was like a millisecond. millisecond. Less than crushed? a millisecond. I, no, no, literally, they was like. It, it, I just yeah, want to say like, nah. that's a little suspicious that the Navy knew about it and hear about the explosion, implosion, supposed, supposed implosion, but didn't do anything about it. There were some noises afterwards. My thing is, if you're so rich. And you decide to take your son and not your wife for a vacation? In a, let's face it. If the wife was not interested, what do you think the kid was? I think they faked their deaths. He was just tired of the wife. He was like, you that's know, it. Um, he you know, the body the original, like, let's get it on. The original, um, tr- I think the original reason that they went and um, uh, were uh, trying to um, get to the Titanic, like they used the first exploration, is one of the, uh, it was like back in the 60s, uh, one of the, uh, I think a couple of U.S. subs, went down so they used that as an excuse to try to rescue the subs the navy's done that a couple of times where they said that they're actually doing a a film shoot and they're really just trying to salvage subs so um you know i i don't know dude <laughs> you know the thing is like basically like that's the say that they built that shit out of fiberglass yeah it's like well what you know it's like they did it was the same thing that happened on those boeing wings so this is the uh, podcast uh, episode six. <laughs> they do a mic check one two one two. <laughs> we Welcome to the hacks podcast. Run it back at this point. Uh, <laughs> you got it. Keep going. Keep going. It's um, fucked up. So your intro didn't go in or anything. Apparently, well, it's probably whatever picked up just a little bit. Now you're in my head. had a whole dramatic moment before we started where he was like, head. and you can go like, and then, so you, you didn't know, even some check Some producers the like to do a sound check before we start, but I'm just we did, saying. We did. It was working. Yeah, hmm. what happened? He ain't even talking about nobody in his room. This nigga schizo right now. We did, we did. He talking about his sister right next. To him. <laughs> All I saw was that you coordinated the audios of the cameras. We but don't know. I, the, I don't know. We were only we only run the most professional atmosphere. No, the podcast that you, that you deserve. deserve. He was talking. He was telling me about his new camera lens, and he was about to come out, and he was about to come while he was doing, it and he forgot about the sound. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he was he like, yeah, so those lenses were tracks. Speaking of camera lenses, are the lens covers off? 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. Thank you. Get on our we producer. He'll <laughs> quit. He'll quit on our ass. <laughs> um, you know, um, speaking of uh, our producer, uh, if you guys want to get any headshots or weddings or um, any of your events um, filmed, reach out to uh, to Danny at uh, dannywiththeshot.com because um, he's uh, only doing part-time classes uh, during summertime, so he wants to fill up his schedule um, with some more uh, events. Uh, DannyWithTheShot.com. He produces the show. He edits it. Basically, I'm too stupid to do anything, so he does everything. So reach out to him for whatever you guys want to do as far as like your uh, to promo your events. And of course, uh, because you watch the show, we're gonna hook you up with Los Jugadores del Club con Discuento, Descuento. Players Club discount. <laughs> it's no translation. Shame I made that shit up. I had to look that up in the translator, dude. I had to. I fucking made that shit up, dude. <laughs> but it is players' club discount. That's the roughest translation I could uh, come up with. <laughs> So which, is, which isn't bad considering we don't know what the price is I before, say it all the time of... and nobody's like they just look at me crazy like what the fuck is wrong with you and then they're like are you from Honduras or if I'm like, or the Dominican is that how they talk down there because that's like the first Spanish that they hear from me didn't your parents ask you the same thing what's that where the fuck they are you were from? definitely yeah <laughs> definitely why are you not a doctor they were lighter too so it was suspicious yeah. especially growing up so where, where are you guys uh, you got any gigs coming up we can Talk about and talk about them again too. But what have you been up to, Fernando? Yeah, you're hosting Mike in Redwood City, right? I've been hosting Mike in Redwood City. Yesterday we had a great, the greatest night we've had so far. Uh, let's um, talk about this uh, Mike in Redwood City. What's the name of the place? And the name of the place is the Patty Shack. It's a family-owned business, not my family. Where is it? Give it the address. Uh, nine oh nine Main Street, Redwood City, California. What nights is the show? Every Monday. From seven fifteen till the last comedian. Oh, so do you shoot? You, uh, were you shooting down to swinging door right after that when you, yes. after you were hosted? Oh, okay. That's why you're always coming in after. Interesting. And you get five minutes there. Is that everyone gets five minutes? Everybody or? gets five minutes with a purchase. You get seven. So you said you had a good night the other night. What happened? Yeah, yeah. It was. It, it, we had a whole uh, class. I'm pretty sure there were like some military people. Okay. So it was packed. There were like 16, 12 people. Oh, those are the uh, like on these two, too. three tables. Yeah, they just want to blow off some steam. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. there were just uh, two of them went up on stage. Uh, oh, one of them great. for the first time. It, it was really, it was really fun. It was really fun. You had a killer atmosphere. Is that what yeah, happened? yeah. I kept it up. I kept that's it up. why that, I think a lot of times it's shitty, but you live for one night that's good like that. Yeah. And then you just get hooked. Oh, yep. no. You're hooked for those good <laughs> Yes, yeah. one joke. One joke goes well, and, and you're ruined. Yeah, you keep coming back for that mm-hmm. uh, that 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 punch. You don't have, You can take that off the cord. Oh yeah. Yeah, you just let it go. Yeah, I would hold the mic, dude. Yeah, if I was you, I'd just hold it. Yeah, You'd be better off just better. holding it. Yeah. Yeah, you look, that looks that looks like your natural. Hold. You're like, dude, yeah, 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 you you have no problem holding a mic. Here Brothers you go. like hella good at Here holding you mics. Go. You know that? Like they just got that like even that mic swag. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like I, it's I know weird. what you're talking about. Yeah, you just you 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 got that swag. That's why I say you better off holding it. So a lot of times, what I do is I just pick a topic and then I just put the mic on here and then I let you guys run. All right, all that's right. That's how we roll this. That's how we roll on this show. So Jonathan, what, what do you what do you got going on? What have you been up to lately? I've just been doing hella comedy. I finally learned how to edit reels. So if I've been in your DM with reels, I'm sorry, not sorry. I'm a be in them motherfuckers for like the rest of the week. And then I'm going to leave y'all alone for like a month, I swear to God. But for like the rest of the week, I'm going to keep sending y'all reels. I promise you, I'm going to send you like another four reels. But they're all going to be funny, and you're going to share them. I saw some of them. That, the, the, the edits and the sound sounded really good on that. Yeah, I've just been fucking around on this Premiere Rush. I'll be paying for this shit. I had it for like two months, and then I just be I was just scared to use it because oh, I sucked at that shit. But it's pretty sweet. What are you using, Premiere Rush? Yeah. Is it You're using the app on your phone to add, do your yeah, edits? Yeah, it's on my phone. Okay. And how much does it cost per month? I think it's like duh. Okay, really? Yeah. So 20, 20 a month for everything though for the whole little. Is it okay? Now does it does it have AI in it? Here we go with the AI. No, it I'm just kidding. You it? Not. <laughs> I think it. I think it. I think it has the Photoshop beta has in there, right? Yeah. So it has it has an AI property. Uh, it has a proprietary AI app. Have you fucked with it? Sweet. No. I don't oh, yeah. really fuck. I'll fuck with AI if I want like. Draw John with his gold teeth in with like a samurai sword. Like I'm I like draw that for me real quick. Like yeah, I could commission an artist, but like bro, I'm not finna wait hella long. And them niggas be acting weird to DM. So like bro, 
I'll pay fucking lens of seven ninety nine for a hundred of these. You know what I mean? But yeah, yeah, you in terms of like real quick. relying on AI, you know, I'm the same way I was when I was before. Like it's cool and all, and it makes it easier. But it's like until it shows me some type of innovation, as if terms in as opposed to efficiency, I feel like all it can really do is consolidate a lot of what we already, which where it's already going. Where it's like you ever notice how you'll see the same meme fifty times and it's all got a hundred thousand likes. Imagine when AI is like. We know for a fact this is what you need to run. It's going to be like a thousand of the same variation of a joke with just the right timing with the AI telling it like, oh yeah, last week this did good at 7 o'clock, so there's time to do it. Well, I mean, that's why we call the show The Hacks. Is because you, we're talking, we, 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 I knew even a long time ago that this was going to be, um, the biggest hack now is going to be your brain. These, co- these companies want to hack your brain and just create a consumer. So you yeah. hit that buy button on Amazon, yeah. and how and they know what it's going to take to do it. Like they're going to say the AI is just going to be really fast at figuring out whatever you want. But trip on this, dude! All your punches that you're hitting already set your AI character, so they already know you're browsing and what you do because there's only so many choices that you can make. No, I understand so, that. So, so, oh, so man. you're gonna have like a you're gonna have an AI hologram of yourself in whatever age you thing and, you created, and, and you're you gonna and, leave uh, it in Pornhub. I, you that's might, what is that where you love your AI hologram? Like yeah, an avatar? That's, that's right. You love your porn hologram? But, but avatar? that's what I mean, though. I don't think it'll be. I think it'll just end up being a circular thing of ever increasing efficiency in job loss. Like, let's, let's leave the fuck, fuck the job loss, right? It's just ever increasing. See, like, oh, we can get you memes and we can do it faster this way, right? And then it's like, we can get you those same memes and do it faster this way. We can and, get you those same memes and do it like that. And you wouldn't call that efficiency? No, I'm saying it is efficiency, but that's all it is. Oh, it's innovative. It's not changing. It's not making something. It's just another tool. It's yeah, innovating I'm not until you use it world, but it's in an innovating way. I feel like we used going... it on the flyer for the last slander that we had. We used it to do all our edits in our show. It used to take uh, Danny and I just to do one show, almost 16, um, 16 hours. Like we'd have to go through it and just watch it and just because we wanted it to be good quality, right? Mm-hmm. So when we since especially because we're doing it over here now. So we're spending a lot of time once we're done with this uh, episode to go through the edits and the AI is doing it for us. It's had a couple of hiccups on it, but for the most part, it's saved us a lot of time. But what's crazy, it's generating all our shorts for us and telling us which ones will go viral and which ones won't. Mm -hmm. And the ones that it says will absolutely won't. It doesn't really have a sense of humor. I can't tell you that. But I just wonder why it's telling me certain parts are more likely to go viral on the internet. We pay like 30 bucks a month for it to do our edits. Yeah. You know? So again, I, I use it to babysit my kids. You can. <laughs> you, will be. you will be. So again, for efficiency, it's 100% there. I see the efficiency in it. But I'm saying again, in terms of innovation, in terms of being a creative more than just the like, so like when people talk about it generating, like when they're like, oh, they're gonna put artists out of business. It's like I don't think that's gonna happen. No, what gets creepy is when they um um when it attaches Neuralink, because that's where it's headed. By the way, you think of people with have with Lamada, with you know, Lamada believes nothing. Lamada will be the Musk, first in right? line for Neuralink. Like you won't even have to put it in the front. You just put it in the hole right here. You know what I mean? Here you already said. Can they really really wait online? I don't think they could do anything anymore if they had a lobotomy. Yeah, exactly. let's not, let's call up Rosalind and find out. Is she still alive? <laughs> no, I just have to wheel them alive. alive. That's, That's why they crazy. say the Kennedys got cursed because they gave her uh, eyes and just dinky. <laughs> you know, they gave their one of their uh, uh, the kids a lobotomy because she was masturbating. Youngest daughter. Well, yeah. Kennedys. Yeah. Rosalind, that's another one besides yeah. Chappaquiddick and all the other the running gun running. No, and, I think she had other issues going on before, not just masturbating. No, I, I mean, like... She was a young woman discovering her sexuality. And, and, and you know, yeah, no, is, they'll say, yes, he's sister there on these no, times. I, I, but I back then, she, we were a I think other mental issues. But, the, but you got to remember, that was the state of mental health back oh, then. Oh, I know. The yeah, I know. They just, just, that's what they were like. Just as real some, part of the some dollars out. at it and forgot mm-hmm. all about her. Uh, yeah. You know why hysterectomy is called hysterectomy? Right? Hysterectomy, right? When they get the, the uterus out of the women? Why? Because women will go hysteric, and then they'll take their uterus out, and be, like so they stop being hysteric anymore to their husbands. And after the traumatic experience, they'll be more quiet and docile. So it kind of worked if you think about it. Is that really the reason? Yeah. Or you just play a play on words? No, fuck with you. That's why I said reality is just so much fucking funnier than mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> fiction. <she's famous. laughs> reality, the actual. You don't never run out. I mean, I never run out of jokes. So people are like, where do you get your joke? A paper. 
<laughs> the paper. There's people chopping each other's head off, and you know, like right over there. It's not even a third. Yeah, that's, it's that's, turned into a third that's, world that's, country that's now, dude. I see some crazy ass shit in the street, dude. You work on the, you work for the postal office. You see some crazy ass shit out in the streets or what? Man, you deliver? Mainly, you uh, deliver? Yeah. Oh, so you do deliver? No, where where are you delivering? Like what? Uh, college area, Berkeley. Oh, okay. So you're in that like nice, yeah, the nicer cool. areas, yeah. That's cool. Make yeah. you feel old, but it's do you cool. do you walk up? Is there hills up there and shit? Yeah, but I'm right before you get to like the hills, hills. Oh, okay. Like literally right before there. So does like everybody know you up there, especially because you do comedy? And nah, shit? cause them is all hell, like most of them is kids, so I don't really be interacting like that. Oh really? Yeah, they all like twenty, twenty three years old, yeah, twenty four. Yeah. Like it should make me feel weird. Like yeah. Yeah, because you're like a like a yeah, thirty two like years old. Bro. Yeah, but you're like a young thirty two. I would never even. That's guess. not that's, that's like, not so old, old, much yeah, older. Yeah, but I like I might look this way, but like I'm not about to like. What do I need to talk to a twenty three year old about? Like yeah, the age gap is different. Fernando, how old are you right now? Twenty six. Oh, so yeah, so yeah, exactly. I'm literally. When I met my ex wife, I was thirty five and she was twenty four. You would talk to Fernando. I mean, my rule is. I oh, would, are you just talking about bitches, or are you just talking about? Yeah, just talking about bitches. My my okay. rule is, I wouldn't date nobody. Uh, twenty five, twenty like me for me at like twenty five is the cutoff. Twenty five and up, you good. What if it's like like she's like a hot twenty five though? You know what I'm saying twenty five and up, you're good. Okay. Yeah. okay. But so anything whole, lower than that, I'm like, it's not like a hard, like, like say if tomorrow I'm, I'm go out and I meet a girl at a gas station you only like 32. To be you're trying to tell me like, if you see like a hot 20, you're just going to be like deuces before you even holler? I mean, if it ends up being like, like here, here's the scenario, right? This is the best way to paint it. Let's say I'm out at a bar, right? I don't go to one, but let's say I'm out at a bar, we're drinking, we're having fun. Like, oh shit, you're 22. Like, that's crazy. And then like, but it's like, we're already going to have sex. Like, sure. But like, I'm not even about to waste her time or mine with anything other than this one night stand, which is probably going to be fun for both of us. But what am I really doing with, what can I really like talk to her about? It's all type of patience that I'm a need for a person that young. Cause I had, you know what I'm saying? I've been cartoons? that young before. You talk to her about cartoons. Yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> that shit just hella weird. Like you imagine you chilling there cartoons? sitting and then she just bouncing around singing some stupid ass song. You're like, what the fuck is this? You know, the number one hit that's up right now. You know, the gen- you know that every four years they just look at the other gen. Like you look like you, you you're 26 and you look at 22 year olds. Like they're like, Absolutely, they look at you like you're so old, like you're so far behind, and it's every four years because technology is increasing so fast. They're like you're you 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 still on? Yeah, it happens. happens. You know, my, you still using MySpace? I don't even think it's just the tech <laughs> so much as it's just like, bro, like at 32, just knowing what I know, it's like that's like me trying to play tackle football with a retarded. All my retarded friends got married infant. at 30. No, I I get you know exactly what, what you're talking like, about. It's, it's so, All it's my just, friends got married at 30, so 30 seems to be a good age for guys when because they stop chasing. You know, and like oh, usually they settle yeah, down. So no, I'm just saying that, but wait, I'm saying that's dude, I'm fifty four, so that's like twenty two years ago. Everything in the world's <laughs> changed in twenty two years. Like that's not yeah. the same I mean, I've got friends of mine that are still hanging their head on their or hanging their hat is the term on their college education from like the nineteen nineties and that shit you know just makes me laugh. I was like, Man, dude, you're obsolete, bro. I mean we were just Getting out of college when the internet started, you know. I mean, we had pagers. It was crazy. You remember that shit? We didn't even talk. We would meet people and say that we were going to meet them somewhere and actually show up after a long, drawn out conversation that we probably really didn't want to have. But or, yeah, or you sit there waiting for someone for God knows how long. <laughs> because they can't Let me tell you something. <laughs> Any of these old people that say it was really a lot better back in the olden days? No, it wasn't. Yeah, it's so much better now. Well, the other thing that people, it's so much better. But all, you know what I, I don't agree with it is is everyone talks about how bad you know crazy things are um, today uh, than they were yesterday or you know decades ago. It's every decade is nuts. Something crazy is going yeah, on. Everybody, I got mean, they, every generation got their thing. Yeah. Wait, like, I, what was nuts in the eighties besides like Iran I, Contra? I, I saw I saw a, a um, newspaper that said Iran Contra. Uh, he just wanted. He just. <laughs> He just setting me up to talk. Yeah. I, I, no, I, I, I saw what, else was, what happened in the eighties. I was so out of it because I lived in Reagan's. Which America. camera should I look into for the audience? Look at <laughs> uh, Fernando. Did you grow up in the? Did you grow up in Mexico in the eighties or not in the eighties? Not obviously you weren't even born in the eighties. No. Uh, what, what did, did you grow up in Mexico? Yeah, earliest the earliest two thousands. Where did you grow up in Mexico? Michoacan. Okay. The, the culturally and geographically is the deep west. For all those people that don't know where Michoacan is in Mexico, tell them where it's at. 
Uh, deep west. Yeah, yeah. The deep the, west. Where the curvature of Mexico is at. You know, a little okay. belly button. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, First time I heard of Mitchell Khan was in a Cheech and Chong uh, video. <laughs> uh, it's got know. a funny name yeah. to it, yeah. Well, they yeah. were talking about the pot. Is it, yeah. a, is it coastal? Is that coastal town? What, what's the big city there? Um, is Michoacan the state? The big coastal the city. Province, right? The big coastal city is Lázaro Cárdenas. You know, it's a okay. politician that died. Uh, um, it's, Michoacan is a state. Okay, that's what I figured. Yeah, it's a state. Did they call it a state or province? A state. State. Okay. One of the 32 states that they have. They have 32 states. Mm -hmm. And all, each of them are, um, they're like, they're, they're different, like culturally? They, they are different in my region to be, so you have an idea of how, uh, you know, no, advanced or not advanced it was. Uh, um, 85% of the, the income and, and, you know, all the, the money and the economy was out of the books, right? Like it, it's unofficial unofficial okay. off commerce the books. yeah off the books so it's just by by conversation trusting people and that's it no contracts cash. no lawyers no mm. cash business no yeah yeah no mexican irs mm -hmm. yeah it's the cash thing yeah, yeah. freedom I, I, yes I, I met a lot of grown-ass people that they have entire businesses and not a bank account that shit sound cool yeah it was pretty <laughs> fucking I do cool that now. I heard the fuck out of that. I'm straight. <laughs> Let me get my shit in the vault, please. Matter of fact, I don't even want my money in here. Put my shit in the computer. Just show me the number on the screen. I'm happy. You do, you do, you do Bitcoin? No, fuck no. I mean, it, 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 like, it's fun to make money on it, but like as a thing of like, oh my God, Bitcoin's going to change. You never get tempted to uh, blockchain out? No, I fucked around and made some money on like crypto and shit, like in terms of just making money. But like, I, I, bruh, I have never bought into, and I fuck with tech and shit, but it's like, it's some. It's a certain level of tech optimism that's going around to the point of like delusion. Yeah, I'm like, bro, this shit ain't getting us out the solar system. Like, chill out real quick. We like, can enjoy it, but like, people be like, well, like, like if every if every any time the dollar slips like half a penny, you see everybody like, dude, well, the, the new reserve currency could be Bitcoin, right? It could be Bitcoin because it's the blockchain. It's like, bro, that shit is not even. Nobody's thinking about that shit like that. It's a couple right. people making some millions and billions. Sometimes it's like, yeah, like. Let's pump this shit real quick. All right, you ready? You ready? You ready? The sucker's in at the bottom, and then you pull that shit out. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, that's the same as the stock market. It's called exactly. Ponzi scheme. Yeah. Here's the, here's the I'll fuck with that and don't believe you it. Might, here's, like, here's, the, here's what I what's going to be interesting, or because you kind of alluded to it, is I believe that the majority of these uh, so-called unicorns in the Silicon Valley are fake ass shit. That's why that SBCA uh, bank closed, and um. Like, I don't want to talk trash, but like, white people have been building like some dangerous ass machines and making a hell of money on it. <laughs> like Elizabeth Holmes and that glue machine. She yeah, got 9.5 billion for that shit. It that shit never worked. It never worked. It never that did. That's the first thing. I was like, when those Pakistanis got on that sub, they're like, oh shit. This is that's why I like But it. I guess it's better than Pakistan. That's why I like real estate. Real estate? Yeah, because if yeah. the market crashes, you still have the property. Yeah. You still have the property, yeah. yeah. But dude, these, these, right. these, these kids aren't going to fucking touch real estate. It's no. just really hard. It's gonna so be we really gotta make hard. money on shit we don't believe in, like my, stock markets and My generation is not gonna own anything. No, you don't. You know, Before you used to go and grab a CD, right? And, mm -hmm. you, you, and that was your DVD. You put it on your screen. And that was that was it. But now you rent it and you supposedly buy it, and then they just you live in the draw membership. off the platform. You have your car is gonna be a membership soon. You know your cars are gonna pull up, and you're just gonna have a membership. There are cars. apps for renting cars you, no, just for the ride. That. Yeah, I think pe people love their cars. They like the person. Personal this is what I see. What I mean by the no, tech I'm optimism. Telling you, I'm telling you that the, this is gonna happen. That right now, like, say you got your gas car and you just love it. Well, guess what, dude? And I and you know, like, you saw all my cars that I got in the backyard and garage. I love gas engines and you know all that shit. That's, that, that's my shit. The cars, but I know for a fact that the gas is so no good that all my fuel lines just get deteriorated if I drive, you know, more than one car at a time. So I just drive one. But um, the gas is no good. They're gonna pull that gas. The gas can be no good in like less than ten years. I mean, so I'm down for EV you're vehicles. Gonna, yeah, you're gonna get an electric car, yeah. the next car that you yeah, get. Yeah, but people still want that individual hmm. experience. They don't want to be on. Uh, no, you can buy your own car. Um, but what I'm saying is, is that with uh, the GPS and uh, the self-driving cars, within like fifteen years, you're gonna have a car. You're just gonna like press a button, and that yeah. car's gonna pull oh, up. Oh yeah, I can see something like that. Yeah. yeah. What I didn't realize, what I did not realize, because now I'm like heavy into it, is I didn't realize that these, these drones are going to be in service in less than five years. Oh, You're going to have flying taxis are already working right now. You can buy your own flying 
drone. To a drive taxi plane. or a helicopter? Bro, just basically like a helicopter that you can program around and drive. You can't actually officially fly it over anything yet, but you can buy one for like 38000 You go out to Texas and like fly it. They'll let you fly over like the cornfields and shit like that. They don't Texas. Care. They don't care. <laughs> but anyway, what, what, dude, it was, actually to tell you the truth, um, I did. Wait, and we done? No, it, we, I, we I just, did. I did a couple. We shows take a break and dude, I did recharges. a couple shows in Texas. Great place to do shows. There's such a great crowd. But yeah, they let you fucking run in Texas, dude. Like thirty eight thousand, you can buy your own uh, drone car that yeah. flies for about forty minutes. Goes like two hundred miles an hour, one hundred and thirty miles an hour. Or something like that. Yeah, see what I'm saying? But look at that. That's like thirty eight thousand, right? If I had thirty eight thousand dollars, I'm not spending it on that. Even if dude, I live to we're somewhere to fly, like, bro, I need to get a car so I can get to work and like do more shit. That shit. I'm well, gonna, I mean, I, yeah, but that's good because it's new, and so eventually, you know, the prices will come down as they do with any new technology. Sometimes, but a Ferrari's Sometimes. still expensive. Ferrari, yeah, yeah. Well, you, you gotta you gotta get the uh, you have to buy two before vehicle. you finally get a Ferrari. Yeah. You, you, know get, that, you know that, right? You can't go to the Ferrari dealership and buy a Ferrari. You have to own two previous Ferraris to even buy one. You got to get the the Kia drone. Not, not the Ferrari. Right. You the, well, you know, um, like I said, the, uh, they're, 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 I, I really thought that that was like 10 or 15 years ago, 15 years uh, away. Mm-hmm. But I didn't realize you could get one for like 750 with goggles and like 250 with goggles and actually fly inside the house and all kinds of stuff. Mm-hmm. And, the, and these are like high tech drones. Uh, some of them look a little sketchy, though, like that sub. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, of course. Like, yes, and and the dudes building them a little sketchy. I'm suspicious because I I see people building, printing off airplanes and all this other fucking just like shit and flying them. How 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 good do you think they're gonna get fucked up if they were getting arm broken and like wrist and and, and fucking look, lungs performed with, with the whole hoverboards? Like remember that time two yeah. years ago the hoverboards were fucking everybody up. I imagine one of those bad boys. I see this dude taping up an airplane thing and then he's like actually flying it like. You know, what about some of those things that, 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 that like fold? Like, this is like hell huh? sketch. Like you can, uh, you can, like those things that fold into nothing, like a, a suitcase can fold into a canoe or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those mm. things are pretty cool. But those are behind the times at this point. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, yeah. well, no, I mean, they got... They but got you, all... they're good for traveling if you're into that stuff. What's cra- Like I said, I didn't realize that you can, for 350 bucks, you can find one that actually tracks people. You can track people with it. You can actually put their face into one, fly it above their house, and it would track them. We recognize their face. It's got AI, all the like, for, like that's with the controller and everything. You can fly up to ten miles away, and then come back. It's like Fahrenheit four fifty one. It's wild, dude. You can put your glass. Yeah, dude. I did it the other day. I dropped some shrooms and I threw some uh, goggles on, and I went flying. I went like ten miles away. I was like, so, and one of my friends piloted for me, and we like dropped over this homeless encampment. <laughs> fucking they throwing, I was like, oh, dude, this is fucking wicked. And they were throwing like rocks at us and shit. Like, the, fucking, the next day, they were like, oh, there they, was an ovni. Did they know they were name? flipping us off? They were they, throwing rocks at us. They only came trying to abduct right, us. Reason to own drones, you can literally fuck with people <laughs> five miles away. It's all fucked up. I mean, they didn't yeah. welcome you like a Cheers episode. Let me tell you, three hundred and fifty. <laughs> Three hundred and fifty bucks to drop a drone into a, a homeless encampment, like just run the homeless encampment. It's worth it, dude. You can see everything. You're like, holy shit. You know what I mean? But, because yeah, I just, they probably have a skittles. Probably had a hell of a day that day. Like, what the fuck? I know I'm not tripping. <laughs> That's why I, I was that drone bit. I, you know, you saw it. I got drones, bitch. Yeah. You know, fucking have all the drones on your dude. Because look, I'm serious. Like. I saw you can put. They've got these drones. You can actually put like, um, uh, um, either lasers or like, uh, uh, uh blow, blow, <laughs> like um, you know, you know, um, flame, flame guns, the flamethrowers. And, and we're, we're back. back. Are the microphones on? Yeah. Second, okay. second. I was itching to say that. I'm sorry. <laughs> second segment. Second segment. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I was. Uh, so I was gonna just get in. So my, I got a 16 year old son. And he's uh, he's getting, you know, he's talking to like four different girls, and all oh, yeah, about sixteen. Good. And two of them. He needs one for a full squad. What's that? He needs one more for a full squad. Yeah, well, five's a squad. Right. So two of them completely unsolicited sent them uh, sent him naked pictures of themselves. These sixteen year old girls, and he wouldn't let me look at the phone. 
Why you want to look at the ball? Mm-hmm. Selfish. <laughs> what kind of men are you racing? <laughs> he wasn't that. He was just too. He took his phone. No, he wouldn't no. give it back. But can you imagine if you had, you know, I'd kill my daughter if I saw it. You can actually picture. look at those pictures because you paid for the plan, right? Jesus, uh, BJ. No, I'm, I'm, I'm mother pays for it. <laughs> you can call <laughs> up and ask for the pictures. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you no. know, oh, before exactly. you know, it's the FBI. Time, is that why do people do that? They'd be like, they ask you like a question of like something uncomfortable. Like, what if it was your kid? Like, bro, if it was my kid and they were like fucking another person their age, why would I give a fuck? Like, I was fucking at their age. Like, you know, like best I could tell them is, like, hey man, like just be safe. Like, if you do need to get a plan B because you fucked around, like let me know. Can't make this a regular thing; it'll fuck you up. But like, you know, because if you if you try to be like, give me your bro, she's gonna sneak out the window, suck his dick, and then not tell you, and then get pregnant, and then you gotta pay for it. So. <laughs> Can I tell you a yeah. horrible story? Well, yeah, I mean that's that's kind of you know there's, they're gonna do all kinds of shit when they're outside the door. So you, yeah, so you might as well just like, hey man, like you wilding out a little, like she wilding out, like bro, this is the third nigga that this is the third different nigga this week. Pick one, stick with him for six months at least, because we're not about to do this. All right. Can I tell you something awful? <laughs> Some girls, somebody asked me to do this show called Terrible Dads, and I didn't. I had no idea. I didn't tell them that I'm not a dad. Oh shit! It's a black show too. I was like, I know. I'm trying to tell. I'm, I'm trying to break it off to a museum. I'm like, do abortions count? Like, cause six abortions. That's like three possible dads I could have been. That's yeah. That's pretty pretty bad dad. Nineties were solid for abortions, dude. He just went and got him. Kaiser hooked it up. Seven hundred bucks, bro. You get it. Seven fifty in your pocket. Seven hundred bucks. How many did you get? You know, was that? It was before Obamacare, though. <laughs> no. <clears throat> no. 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 <laughs> Democrats got you, bro. If you want a good abortion? Democrats got you. You know they're totally pro, bro. Hey, you're, you're shaking too much, dude. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, I get I, excited when I talk about abortion. Right, like. <laughs> I'm like, I think they're so great because, like, they're totally like life givers, like mine, six times. <laughs> it's almost like a cat. There's still a lot of women out there that feel, that they, a cat. feel that they don't need and to. Mine abortions, a cat. Uh, there's a lot of women out there that feel they don't need to have control over their bodies. I mean, I, I, f- I fuck the bodies. I don't. What about my life? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't want to take care of another kid that I don't want. Another That's one. It. Mm-hmm. Not anymore, dude. That's are you, are you still counting uh, Danny? No, I did not have six abortions, you guys. I'm just fucking mm-hmm. like, it's a joke. Jesus Christ. Leave me alone. <laughs> it's it's okay if you did. It's no, okay if you did. It's a safe right. place, you know that? People take the shit I say hell too seriously. It's okay if you took it. You know? It's fine. It's fine. I know. I mean, you can go up. I've done it. You go up on, on stage and, and tell them everything I'm telling you is probably a lie. Maybe. And then you tell them, and they still believe you. I just look like the type. Like, whatever I say, it seems... It's because you, you don't turn it off, though. Like, you probably talk like this in your sleep. Like, no. in your sleep, you probably sleep like, baby dicks. <laughs> you want to hear, you you hear what I sound like in my sleep? <laughs> no, no, no. You know, what I sound like in my sleep is like this. That's a fucking my respirator and shit that I have to have over my face because I'm hella old. Do you know, the Indian accent come out? <laughs> My abortions. <laughs> hey, baby, wake up. Hey, baby, wake up. You're doing the thing again. Not, not number seven. <laughs> wait, wait till you guys see the last episode that we did with Don because he was talking about exactly that. He came in and after he like, because he works at a crematorium and he burns bodies. Yeah, and yeah, he no, burned no, like no, 15 bodies right before he got on the mic. Right wow. before he got here. And I was like, how do you compartmentalize like that? Like, you're, like, you're I can like, see your yeah, but It's not like they were one, he killed them. And I don't know these niggas. Yeah. Well, I mean. <sighs> At the end of the day, you just say a paycheck's a paycheck and you keep on shoving them down the fucking oven. Man, I'll be delivering ashes to people's house and I'll be telling them, that's, like, that's hurry what up happened and come outside. Because if not, you're going to have to pick thank you, the Thank you, thank you. Yes, I was going to say, I'm going to this nigga in the box. This could be fake. Come get this. I can be on YouTube. This could be a prank. Come get this motherfucking box. You know what I'm saying? Like, got me sitting in the driveway holding this shit. You got a boss. I got a boss. You do what they tell you. I do what they tell me. That's all. No? Yeah. I mean, they're in the. It's like driving the train. Shout out Germany, 1940. Whoop. Plus, it's like it's not even like it's hella flesh smelly. Like you're not burning like. Oh no, no it is. That's exactly what he said. For he real? said you smell like what you eat. So if somebody eats hella McDonald's, they so smell he, like oh, McDonald's. They don't get embalmed, huh? Uh, well, they burn them with the box and everything. 
So, but so, but the things like they look in some of the boxes, like well, my they people. Took the goods out. Well, they, there, there is my a, people, they look in the boxes because we put hell ornaments. There is a routine they have to follow. I don't know what the hell it is, but there is a, like a yeah, they burn it at eighteen hundred degrees for thirty minutes. Um, you know, um, the he calls you know. the yeah. I was like, I was like, how do you? I mean, like, how do you like how do you do that? Like, I was Eleven you, herbs and spices. See, see, that's, that's modern. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. Jesus, man. That's modern you know? technology. That's the, the Nazis only got it to go eight, to 800 degrees. It smells, they smell like Old Spice. Like, not the cologne. <laughs> like, coriander. That's what the Indians smell like. Does it surprise me? Coriander and uh, masala, garam masala. Black people you know? just smell like cocoa butter. No, he said, uh, and so, so he said he, like, burned four baby bodies and a preemie right before he got in. And I was like, well, how do you smell? He's all listen. What I try to do is I just try to think of them as fajitas. And oh he's like, because that's what they smell like. Jesus. It just smells like bacon. And I was like, and, but the people. He's fucking with you. And, no, he was being serious. And no, he no. He was the, being totally serious. There's a Mexican. It's hot down there, too. There's a Mexican dish that used to be uh, made out of the, the intestines of the prisoners of war. Have you ever heard of, of, of pozole? Yeah. Yeah, now they do it with pig. And they, 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 you know, I'm colonizers. Glad, glad they changed your recipe. Yeah, the colonizers describe it to be like like the same flavor. They tried the original one. They evolved to the big <laughs> one when they brought them over, and it's the same thing. Well, that's a, that's right, Josh. You're not going to be really eating pork, are you? Well, I mean, even though I beef? eat beef, I yeah, eat you, all the pork I can. You can really. Yeah. <laughs> Are we talking about dating or? <laughs> I, I, I set it up. I was worried you were going to miss it. His nipples was hard as fuck when he came in here. Uh, no, I was saying, no, I was saying, it's like, no, uh, well, okay, so you pork. I just assumed that no, you I, might not because you're Jewish. But. No, no, I, in fact, I just told, I told you about this. Yeah, I eat beef, told, I'm Hindu. So I was, I was, uh, set up to meet this, go out with this woman, and she told me she was kosher. I cut it off. Oh, thank God. Oh, you wasn't fucking with it like that? Like, what you like, anti Jew or something? No, no. I, I just like to eat shellfish. Yeah. Oh, I thought she was like, like you know, as black people, that's like Candace Owens. I was like, are you really like? Oh yeah, no, no, you, no. Do y'all I, have those? I, I just like food. <laughs> do Jewish people got Candace Owens? Like do they have what? Y'all got like Uncle Tom's in the in the Jewish community? Oh sure they do. For real, y'all just died. No, no, no I'm, I'm sure they. I'm sure they, they, they had do. couples at the huh? the which one caught? <laughs> yeah. But you, but you don't see them like nowhere. Like y'all don't got y'all got them, huh? Like, but it's like no, you gotta go looking for that shit though. Yeah. Like, I got to turn on the TV. I got to see Candace on. Yeah. But, like, you, where's the equivalent? Like, where's y'all Candace The Capos during World War II? They had yeah. them. Every, well, everybody there, had there them. Were, there were Jews who yeah. uh, supported Hitler. Yeah. I mean, granted, they probably were just misled, and, and they're like, oh, shit. Or realistic. <laughs> There's plenty of. He's got a good laugh. Oh, oh, realistic. Hey, watching this shit get clipped. Watch the nigga get blamed for it. Like, yeah. Shit. John was in there making all these anti-Semitic jokes the whole time. Or he got me this real Kanye vibe. He had a gold grill on, something about something about the true people. I don't know. Some people call them sellout. I call them survivors. Yeah, yeah you it just know. depends on your perspective. Sometimes what you see are people who are just anti-religion and they go over the top with just hating everybody, including Jews, and they might be Jewish. But I, um, but there are certainly you know self-hating Jews out there. Now, see, I didn't like that last phrase. Not from you. When people say everybody, but no, I'm talking about the Jewish nigga that about. hate the Jewish nigga. Yes, the, the, they, uh, well, of course. Not like, oh, they don't like anybody. Like, no. Yeah, well, like, hold on, hold on. don't like niggas. Hold on, hold on. No, there are some. Wait, I can think of one example. I can think of one example. There's the Orthodox group of Jews in New York, super, super Orthodox, that don't believe that Israel has the right to Palestine. Um, because they don't believe in a certain like the, the, well, then the, you have the Jews for Jesus. In. That's just yeah. Good they, no, no, no. That they, but, they're like and they're super orthodox. But they say they because they don't recognize they don't, but they believe the Messiah hasn't come for them to be able to get the land back. I, I'm just saying. For I, mean, the I mean, there's also different things. I mean, it's for different reasons. But there's like. Uh, Isn't it funny that they found a loophole in the contract somehow? Isn't it funny that I'm like <laughs> no, because hasn't come back. You see, so it belongs to us. <laughs> No, but we are talking, <laughs> but they, uh, we are talking about his people. But there are some people. That's I mean, it, it's not necessarily being anti-Jewish, but they can be uh, against certain levels of Judaism, like 
like the orthodox can be pretty horrible in some areas. That's what I'm saying. And yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's that's talking about niggas that just be like downplaying the Holocaust, but they Jewish. But they like really Jewish. They're like, what's the Holocaust? Like a can't to get on TV and talk about yeah. like slavery wasn't that bad. I don't think there's any Jews <laughs> like, I don't have one of them. I've never met anyone. That's like what I'm that. saying. Like, Could you imagine? Only <laughs> niggas got to deal with that, bro. Oh, the <laughs> Holocaust, it wasn't that bad. You know, I'm Jewish. I, like, I'm like, I don't think it's a Chinese version of that. I don't think it's no Mexican. It might I mean, be Mexican it's, version. It's a little that. hotter than Florida, but what the fuck? I think it's only, it's only Mexican, like Latin. Let's say like Latinos and blacks that got to deal with that. Like, there's always the, like the the prominent self hating of the group. That's like, it's, you, know, yeah. you know what? Yeah, you know, they need to stop coming be, over illegally, even be, though my parents came over some, illegally. And exactly. Now I'm with Fox. Like, Amen. Breach, brother. Breach. You know say it. Like, <laughs> there be some like scientific, like person who could be of Jewish descent that goes like, well, if you really think about it, you know that. Nazis were anti-smoking, so if you really think about, I, I, as long as it wasn't Jews anyway, but as long, I'm just Jesus saying, Christ. That, they were anti-smoking, so technically they killed six million Jews and three million this, but they actually saved more lives because they caused a worldwide eradication of smoking. And you could argue that point. You could argue it because they were the first fucking. By technicality, you'd be insane. By technicality, so exactly. Saying, you could argue it, but you'd be fucking completely insane. <laughs> I mean, you there's, can't. I mean, there's yeah. there's others who like converted and became anti-Semitic, like they converted from Judaism, um, like Karl Marx was, you know, famous for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can yeah. I tell you somebody who's famous that converted from I'm Judaism? Who? Uh huh. Because <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I knew we were gonna get that. No. Okay, okay, can I say something? I grew up in Mexico, deeply it's Catholic. About the Jews. Really it's just it's a subsidy. Subsidy. Yeah. The Jews. Deeply Catholic, right? And I approached my my my, my uh, professor on the Bible study, right? And I'm like, Teacher, how come if Jesus was a Jewish, we're not Jewish? If we follow Jesus teachings, mm-hmm. right? And then he looked at me seriously in the eye and said, Because Jesus was the last good Jew that there ever was. Next question. That's a right out Okay, of the okay. <laughs> All right, that's, that's heavy. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's in the papal doctrine. What are you talking about? That's Rule 17. <laughs> are you surprised? No, no. So I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Anyway. I mean, you think those Nazis got their paperwork at the end of World War II. Who do you think helped them? Argentina and Mexico, baby. Hell yeah. Where did they go to go get the paperwork to get there? Rome. You know what? The only you know what I really hate about one? Nazis because I'm not I'm not a great person. So it's no, there's no, I'm not I don't got a lot of morals. You know what I really hate about Nazis? Everybody makes them out to be way cooler than what they were and like smarter than what. And it's like, bro, these niggas wasn't that great. And that's they were hella dumb. <laughs> but, I, I, but I, but if it's one thing I hate. If you if you were evil nigga, but you really a, you really that nigga and you evil, like I really be nigga. I made the bomb myself. Like, hey, I can't be mad at you. Like, I'm not Fuck. mad at you, but I ain't mad at you. <laughs> but like a nigga, like I gotta see a nigga like Elon Musk on TV. Have you ever seen him do Long Division? No. <laughs> We've never seen him do multiplication. Yep. No. I, actually, I saw last, him got a box. Week, I saw him. He had a, no, he, a notepad. To be, and he was, to be, to be fair, seen... he was an engineer. He was an engineer. He went to Stanford. He, went, he studied. Go he got his Stanford, master's in engineering. Shit, bro. But you don't need to. If you got smart people around you, you have them do all that shit. So stop telling me he invented shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> bro, I don't, I don't like that. Like, that to be fair, that first... there's really a saucy person out there, he... new or bitch, that's really doing it. And it's like, man, if I could just get on with the that people that believe in me. That first Tesla was a Lotus. And I heard him for a half an hour describe why it wasn't a Lotus, but like I'm totally into cars, so I yeah, know the car's oh, a, Lotus. a Lotus. But then at the end of the half an hour, I go, maybe it's not, but it is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he had me convinced because it was. they got a magic thing. <laughs> Snake oil magic. salesmen have a magic little thing I in the back of their throat. It's an aerosol gun, you know, and it dumps yeah. you down. You yep. Know? How he started is he had his Porsche turned into an electric Porsche, and he liked it. And then that's what like he's like, can I get a car lighter than this? And he went marketing to the Lotus, baby. That's and that what was it was. The first Tesla. You know the story. And then they got to the. Then they got was. their SpaceX money right, and that's how they Tesla almost went out of business a couple of you know yeah. when they first started. That shit yeah, is just you know. Well, the big three were trying to make people think that cars didn't work right. And if you look on an episode of that, um, you know that BBC show that they got, uh, they got this BBC show um, uh, that you know first gear, first first something like that, Top Gear, Top the, Gear, yeah, and yeah. they really British. did Tesla dirty when they said that the cars break down. They're pretty reliable. The most expensive car to drive, without a doubt, is the BMW. Like right, the modern yeah, BMW. Right, so. Yeah, it's those things are fucking. Those it's things a, are always it's a machine for gods. That's why. Well, they're trying to they're Could trying to cheap. they're trying to get a hell of horsepower <laughs> out of these cars, and they put all the, the the cooling for the engine on the inside, 
And even, no matter how much they got a power, you know, like a gas power engine, it's not as fast as like electric motors. No, no, no. Because electric motors, you get your direct to the wheel and all that. But I got a question for you. Yeah. In a Tesla, yeah. right? What's the what's the what's the most expensive thing on the inside of a Tesla? Don't tell me the tech, because that shit is just a regular car, right? Let me tell you what it is. It's the big iPad. Everything else is shit, bro. The linings yeah. be off on them shits, like. Why they glue the car together? Do they, why do they move like a like the um, the like the three and the smaller ones? They move the whole thing like to the middle of the car. You, you get you probably get a better driving experience in the middle. It's technically the right where you're supposed to sit because you're sitting balanced in the car. That's why Formula One cars they don't have it off to the side. I'm They're not right a in the Formula middle. One driver though. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you're getting in the. That's why I be. This is what it is with people with money, and this nigga got money. This is what no, they, don't. Like, they just don't live in the reality of like practicality a lot of times. They're like, yeah, if you think that <laughs> thing you do every day, yeah, but I'm looking here and I gotta look here, here to look at the. To, you could put a pull, a fold out pool in your trunk, right? And then, then all you'd have to do is go to your lake in your backyard and fill it up. Now you got a portable lake in your in your car. That's how rich people talk to you, like. <laughs> That's the shit you be saying. He'll say well, some shit like that. Like, all you gotta do is no. I mean, I like the car that we got. We got it for like fifteen racks, and it's aluminum shell. It's mm-hmm. got a gas engine in the back. It's got electric in the thing. We already got it paid off. But we those cars right. still look very good. Even the like plastic car, like a plastic <sighs> BMW now, still looks like oh yeah, this is got some heft to it. This yeah. is a this is a car. This car is a man. I like it because the suicide <laughs> doors in the back. <laughs> Teslas are autistic. That's what they feel like. You sit in a Tesla, you're like. What the fuck kind of shit is that? You start looking like, hey, why the world look crooked now? Hold on. Well, I can't drive a Tesla just because I'm Indian. Because that shit is autistic. That's why. No, because all the other Indians drive it. You know, and I don't want to look like that. Like, I don't want to pull up and, like, when one more of those Indians pulling up You're going to be Tesla. the first self hating Indian on Fox News? Like, yeah, get them uh, the fuck out of here. Denise D'Souza? <laughs> if, they don't have their the visas, if they don't have their visas, not, they're not committed to the American Are economy. You they have to go. Kidding. They're not going to get a must Jonathan. done. Right. Jonathan, <laughs> the first thing Indians do when they come in and get their HP1s or whatever visas is they head to Kentucky Fried Chicken because the chicken's how expensive in India? It's like $500 for a chicken, dude. Like, you're balling out so hard. Like, what if you like, like Punjabis, especially Punjabis, they need love and chicken. Okay? Like, like, it's, oh, dude. Y'all do but like vegetarians. Then stuff the like that? next thing they do after that is go, don't let any more of these Indians in here. You know? Because they're like, it's that's, already crowded. You know? I, I, like, that's so y'all, what good. do y'all like when, over in India? What do they eat mostly? It's not hella meat? It's all I'm vegetarian. Really beef like that. It's all vegetarian. The majority of India vegetarian, even the parts that have meat, are still heavy, heavy vegetarian because meat costs so much money. So they might be eating mm-hmm. like goats, but goat costs more than chicken in uh, India. The chicken's hella cheap here. Even though like, even though it did go up quite a bit, but nobody even knows that we had a bird flu. Like there's a bird flu epidemic. That's why the chicken and the eggs went Another up so one. high in price. Oh. Yeah, they had to kill all like 10 million birds and shit like that. That's why it was hard to get eggs from and ship them to india <laughs> no we don't need them we got we, we we don't i don't know if they got the bird flu that is, i don't know how international it is but i know that we had one like it was here local so um and that and like that's 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 recent we're in one now there's an actual avian flu epidemic going you know, on i dated three indian women over the past I don't know, couple of months each one of them drove a tesla yeah, <laughs> I'm That's trying true. to give you me don't a little bit of Tesla. They don't fuck. want to give Whitey any more money. Like, so you sound like I see nigga on the low. He be playing coy like he just a regular Jew. I'm just a regular Jewish guy. Yeah. That nigga be getting bitches on the low. That's about the fifth story. He didn't tell me about some bitches. He be he be getting it on the low. That's all he was doing. He was and, so, he, and he inclusive because they all been different races. He, uh, <laughs> he, uh, he, uh, I, know, I'm, I have a checklist. I'm going around the world. Hey, I ain't he ain't no hater. <laughs> he ain't no hater. He ain't no hater. Israel welcomes everyone. Yeah. You know, no, they don't. <laughs> they, they don't know. I'm fucking ass out. Uh, I'm fucking not gonna be allowed in there. And shit. No, I'm cool, dude. I'm cool with the side. Fuck. I'm good. Uh, the first thing Two I should like solution: call that bitch Israel Stein, and just call it a day. Israel Stein and jo- call it a Josh, day. Josh, be like, look, y'all got a first part of the name. Fuck, dude. One of Josh's ex-wives was military, right? Did you no, military? no, she wasn't military. She, she evaded the military. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that sounds more like your speed. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't go out and pop stu- this nigga right through here. We're going to be recording. Like, all right, now is a good. <laughs> Mosago, so right through this nigga's shit. Like, hey, yo. <laughs> right here. Let me stay secrets. <laughs> Blow darts at me. No. <laughs> no. Fentanyl darts? That's my, my choice Fenty of murder. Beauty. 
Fenty. That's my new choice of murder, silent and deadly. I was going to put fentanyl on the end of these blow darts, and I was going to be taking fools out. That shit is so crazy <laughs> going to San Francisco. Every time I go to San Francisco, I forget, like, oh, yeah, these niggas really be out here. Zom. Motherfuckers like, at seven minutes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Get him off the mic. We, we left, we left the, the uh, a recording once, and this guy just face down on the sidewalk. He yeah, might have been be dead. Insane. Oh, yeah. I mean, Which he was time? like Jesus, but on the... P- well, you want to give some money? This is the best advice I can give somebody. Walk through San Francisco. Just do laps around the homeless-like thing and, like, your empathy. You see they have boots slowly, on the ground today? desensitize you, and then you'll be able to exploit people. You see they had boots on the ground today? <laughs> hmm? You see that they had boots on the ground today? What is that, a strip club? No, boots on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he likes that. He likes that. <laughs> Carol Dota. Yeah. Anyway, so I, I they're playing at Broadway time. tonight. Boots on the ground. <laughs> Pussy galore at Boots on the ground. <laughs> Come on. Anyway, uh, no, um, they had fucking... Um, Operation so- Bunker Buster. To spend- Come on, Saturday nights? No, dude, they had fucking literally... Uh, uh, I don't know about that. No, it's like Boots on the ground. That's when they do anal on Saturday nights. They, it's an anal show. <sighs> Oh, I didn't even know Bunker that. Busters. The what, girls no, get on stage on and they kind of... What, what, what did you say about that? This is new lingo for you. <laughs> I'm making all of this up. Boots He's on the ground. Right. Right. <laughs> you just made up. If you made that... And on Saturdays, they have Bunker Busters, which is when the girls do an anal show at the Boots on the Ground strip club that we just made up just now. That's fantastic. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Bunker I got Busters? I whole thing in my head. Yeah, I like because that. Because I've been in Thailand, so I've seen like the horse and pony shows and ping oh. pong balls and all that stuff. Nice. That's exactly so like, what I was thinking. Exactly. No, I didn't see it. I walk right past it. I don't want to see it. Aren't you that. running two for one specials? Bunker Busters? Hmm? At Bunker Busters? Two, yeah, two, two, two for two. one dances? Yeah. Oh, that's in the VIP? Days. Slaughter Sundays. Yeah, that's it's all military Sundays. themed, you see? <laughs> Slaughter Sundays, Sundays, two for one. No. The bodies are going to so, pile so up. So they had real army. just bitches galore walking they around. They have the army. They call in the... We um, pair them up so that they split each dance, but it's a volume thing for us. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And we let the girls keep most of the money that day because we understand it's taxing. I'm a labor-friendly guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> um, they um, no, they had real army on, on the uh, army... I mean, they, they had the real army on... Um, Market Street today, trying to clean up the open air market. That's fucked up. Huh? Yeah, it was like real. Bro, like, it's hella army. empty buildings. Just, just, bro, just get the niggas, bro. Fuck Ronald Reagan. Just get the crazy people back in the fucking crazy houses. Open them back up because I'm tired of seeing this shit. I'll, I'll be talking to them like that. Norman, I'm like, bro, I don't give a fuck what that nigga telling you. Get away from me, my nigga. Look, walk a look, my nigga. Look, go well, over the here, jokes bro. all changed, so they're not gonna. They're, 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 they're going. They're right in schizophrenia. Back to the fucking. They have crazy to actually house. create a whole new thing. And then the people that are homeless because they down on their luck, put them in a fucking. I think whatever empty building they got in San Francisco, you know, they got a million. You know what I think? Yeah. I, I think um, actually they just let them die. They let them die because the, I, I've seen the creek, like right, even where I, where I live. And um, once they get to a certain point, it costs too much money to take care of them on their mental health side. So they get like maybe like some kind of like little like social security, like, you know, like you're fucked up check for like 300 or 400, whatever they and got. They're smoke and it. then they, they, they um, and that, and that 400, that wouldn't really last, but a, maybe like a week or two for somebody in the streets. But with this new shit being synthetic, it's everywhere. And they're going to be, I mean, that's why they're in schizophrenia. So they can't, they're, they're automatically hooked. It's completely different dope. Yeah, yeah. There's fentanyl in everything. Back the crazy Nobody knows that. And the padded rooms. I think yeah, George Carlin the let with the padded them room. cook. George Carlin. Yeah, let them bang, bro. Let them cook. Let them, you put them in the crazy jacket, you let them bang, bro. They'll do this shit until they fucking die or until they pass out, but you're like, I'm feeding you. It's not my fault. There's a high percentage of them. I don't know if you can, if you can get them off the Fetty or the it's new uh, P2P. Right maybe way. maybe um, you can like put them all in a room and like find a way to gamble it's a double, on them. It's a double sword. The, the, the meth is P2P. You know I mean? like, the meth is P2P. The 10, 10 to 15 percent of the coke has Fetty in it. And even the press. That's why like I only do purpose. coke outside of I the saw, country. I saw six. Yeah, I saw six people. No, I'm lying. I did some the other night, but it was only because it was free. Right. <laughs> Amen. 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 No, I don't. I know. saw somebody <laughs> ripping a fucking like like out of his nail at one of the spots in San Francisco. Not recently, but like, like three or four nail? months ago. Yeah, I was like, people still do that. Oh yeah. Not the cocaine, just the fingernail snort. <laughs> oh, I thought you said ripping off his fingernail like he was going to have an episode. No, he was like, ripping a line off his fucking oh, fingernail. Oh, like, you just watch that shit? Like, he, reached, he didn't call nobody. It was, it was, it was so, it was so, that it was will be so, strong. It was so 80s because I think he had like a ring with cocaine in it or something. And he like busted oh, the cocaine nigga, yeah. out of Classy. the ring. A nigga, if a nigga busted out a ring, I'm like, bro, I'm not gay on him. But like, I respect the gay community, but dude, bro, I'm not about to... Snort off your pinky, you homo. Get out of here. Like, <laughs> maybe you'll bust the bag out, get the key, get a bump. What if he let you get the first dip? credit like, card? He's like, hey, you want to dip your uh, finger in my uh, ring? 
in a ring on him. My ring home. There's no way. There's no way that you can ask that. Do you want to dip your finger in my ring? You know what I mean? Because why you got that little bit of cocaine on your pinky? That's gay. Like, yeah. You know? The double entendre and shit. Wait, wait a second. It don't have to be a pinky ring. If you get it right in the middle of your finger, you could probably um, stuff a couple of grams in there. Can, can Book put it on a cock ring? Bro, bust out the bag. <laughs> bust the bag out. Yeah, really. Yeah. Why not? Why do you have, need a ring? Just carry it the way you normally carry Thank it. Thank you. Bust the bag out <laughs> and bang out a bow. What the fuck? Oops. I like, make it so hard. And shit. Hey, everybody trying to be. <laughs> don't reinvent. It's, yeah. like, it's like, actually, in my grill. If I pop out my grill, there's a false bottom. It's not really a high watch. It's not really a high watch. It's a cocaine holder. Cocaine is like hell of a stank breath. Like, <laughs> niggas throwing up in their head. Like, cool, bro. Just to see. It's hey, not. It's just not hit the really bag and pass it back. You know what I'm saying? Look, back in the day when Richard Pryor said it was a pass the album or whatever the fuck. Now we say, hey, hey, bang out the bag and pass it back. All right? That's it. Bump out the bag. Nobody got to do all this cutesy dootsy. Okay, you Coke ain't gonna be legal in like ten second. years. I've heard. Yeah. I, okay, so because I, I follow Johnny so. Mitchell on the uh, so. not the connect, and so he Australia. always talks about how great the fucking cocaine is in Colombia, and it he said great. unfortunately in Mexico people kind of step on it when it gets that far, but in Colombia and because they, you, you can, can get it right. Well, yeah, no, it's more competition. So that they're more likely to, in Co- Colombia, they really need your money. So every time you like go and you get like some good blow out there, like it's pure fucking cocaine. Yeah, like, the they best don't way I fucking... could describe it in the difference between cocaine in Colombia and Mexico is like in cocaine, it's just like there's it's way more fun. There's no negative nothing to it. It's just so much fun. In Colombia, and when I did it in Cancun, it was like you could taste something. I don't know. I don't. I don't make cocaine, so I don't know what it was. But you're like, oh, okay. I see. This is actually like, yeah. It's cocaine got, tourism's this huge is in like uh, yeah. Medellin right now. You know, and plus with the the as far as the dollar travels, it's really a great fucking vacation. Cocaine is and a great even drug if you, you didn't do it. cocaine. I heard it's a great place to visit. Yeah, anyway. it's, oh yeah, yeah. Food, sex no tourism there is it's amazing. The yeah. big booty Latinas from Colombia. Mm. Oh. Yeah, everybody knows they're hot. Yeah, I, f- I follow uh, the Keith Richards school of drugs, drug taking, which is at, he he said the reason why he never really, you know, fucked up like everyone thinks he was close to is because he he knew that at a certain point in the evening he wasn't going to get any higher. Yeah, so he st- would stop. Yeah, you can get high. You can you can you can fuck yourself back to zero, is what they say. Is basically you get so high chasing the dragon. That you end up fucking smoking yourself sober again. I just want to be again. high enough that I'm talking. I just want to be high enough that I'm talking loud like this at like 3 a.m. for no reason. And once I hit that level, I'm like, baby, come on, we gotta go to the room. <laughs> I, I, I do that with myself anyway. I'm too high I'm trying to fuck this off. I do that with myself anyway. <laughs> it's called schizophrenia. Yeah. Sometimes right. I go a little light on the apropos all. Yeah, the reason <laughs> I don't do hella in the all. states. I, like, I don't really months. do cocaine. I people think I do. But I'm just high yeah, energy like that. They just yeah. assume you do because you're Mexican. Yeah, and, and some, also I always carry my little bag with me. Oh, yeah, when you first came, little bag. Yeah. I assume it was a hair. If a nigga carry a little bag with him, and he always got it right up. I think it's a heroin bag. Like that nigga finna. Yeah. No, it's, I like tight pants. So I have my phone in there. I assume it's cocaine because you can. Re- I mean, like if you do some coke and like do a sat, you probably like right on point and shit. It would probably be like great. It would probably be great. It would probably be great. But the problem is, is that you're taking. Well, I mean. I could count. I think I like. I want to say at least ten or less times have I done cocaine in the states between like Nevada and California. It's like one. I'm not about to buy that shit because it's way too expensive. And then another time, it's like it's just such a variation each time that it's like, bro, I can't risk this. I really. What was the last time you did coke? You know, Mm, four o'clock. Yeah, like, four o'clock today. It's gonna get me high. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> Why didn't you bring me some, by the way? <laughs> like, like 2014 or 15, something like that. I think I think that last time I did it was like 2002 and shit in Vegas. Yeah, yeah it was you in know. Vegas too. It was in Vegas. Yeah, yeah, like it was, it was so easy, easy to get in Vegas. Vegas. I was with was some people. Like, we we all went into the bathroom to do it, and within two minutes, some guy, some security guy, knew exactly what we were doing. Yeah, you know what sucks about <laughs> cooking? the the biggest thing that I hate about Cover cocaine fucker. is like fucking 30 minutes later, you're in a bathroom with someone you don't even fucking like or want to talk to, but you have to fucking do another bump to just keep the fucking party rolling and shit. That's the magic that's of drugs. That's, that's like the way weed, weed used to be before they legalized it. Yeah, go ahead and do a shot if you want. Well, thank you. We can do it off of the break too. Let's check the way. Well, I think this is it. No, it's the last. What half, last segment? 
Yeah, I think so. It's up to you guys. It, we 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 never we never set a a, a parameter on the. Uh, I just got podcast. booked too, so I'll tell you. When I said I wasn't booked, I just somebody just hit me and said they want to book. We hot. Oh, good for you. Hax is That's hot. awesome. Congrats, man. Congrats. Fucking Congrats. around, fucking around. Where are you? Where are you booked? Can you talk about it yet? Uh, I'm, yeah, she just hit me and was like, "Are you booked August third? If not, come to Wumpy Wump. It's in Pacifica, so that's all I know right Which now." Which spot in Pacifica out. is that? Damien spot? I don't know. No, no, it's not Damien. He, would, I just told you I got booked out. I don't know his spot, uh, but I don't. But they know. got a couple spots out there. I've never met this person before, but they seem cool. Oh shit! Good, Good job, job man. man. Yeah, I know. I'm hella juicy. The paid gig? Yeah, yeah, even yeah, better. Yeah. Even better. During the show too, that's even like more flossy. I know, I feel saucy now. Like. There's a little flossy. <laughs> I get a booking during the show. Yeah, that was kind yeah. of hard. You know, so, actually, go ahead. We, can we take credit? We yeah. have before for all the bookings, <laughs> <laughs> which have nothing to do with Don't anything. Everybody take We've credit, credit for so many. Yeah, we get to. We just, well, you I have. looking at this camera, right? All yeah. right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my lookaways together. Watch, because I keep wanting to look in that camera, but I I know it's this camera. It's that one, and you guys are like actually pretty centered on that camera. It's got like a dope little lens on it and shit, so it's. it's oh, it's trust me, Danny let us know about these lenses. Yeah, oh, you know, oh, yeah that's right. Right. We're about to take a shower as soon as all this over there. That's the right. We do the Actually, what well, you don't you realize, really you were paying attention. What you don't realize is this podcast is his lens money. He's trying to get his wheel money right. Hell yeah. yeah. So this podcast will be paying for his lens money because he got a new um, new camera. So he's all like a little kid and shit. Like you know these kids like they get all excited about unboxing shit and stuff. <laughs> so he got himself a little fucking. Um, he got a brand new camera because. Um, he's trying to get uh, business popping this year, but then he was just telling me that all the money's in the lenses, and they're like, I was like, and then today, all we did all day was watch shit on lenses. Like they got cameras that are up to like, the the like a really super high nice like phase one cameras like six racks to eight racks, hmm. and then like a nice uh, Sony. 80, no, that's the super high end oh one, or eighty thousand because on. they're handmade. That's a car. Yeah, no, it's it's a car. Yeah, it's like more than a, a lot of nice cars. Actually, it's eighty thousand is a nice car, but um, it that takes about that long to build one of these phase one cameras, and they do all kinds of shit. They basically shoot in like digital IMAX, so that's what they were telling. Um, they were, were, I learned something new though. That's what I learned that the new Oppenheimer film is so dope because what they did is they filmed in IMAX. So thirty five millimeters, basically like a square that's like this. You know, think of it like a like an Instagram, like a, a short on YouTube. Mm -hmm. But an IMAX is like super, super wide, so you see the whole thing. So it'd be more like maybe like something like on uh, like a small video on like TikTok. It depends on the like how you size the videos. That a lot of it's that's what actually affects this. Uh, the, when you shoot yourself or you shoot other people, remember sure you got to hold. We the all phone. just want to see the bomb. Phone, phone, <laughs> phone. Got to hold the phone up, up and down. But Who um, yeah, that? That, that, no, they made their own black dude. They made their own. For to do an IMAX film, it takes 11 miles of film, actual real film, right? And wow. the film is like twice the size of the IMAX film. But here's the thing that they had to do to film the movie. They had to make their own film. So they made like 11 miles of like black and white film yeah. to shoot this in film in an area where everything's full digital. This is like the last like big movie done in film. Or IMAX film, so I'm gonna definitely. I'm like, and I'm it's excited all to gonna see be that about shit. the 30 seconds at a blast when I see that shit on a YouTube short four months from now. <laughs> but uh, you, no, you know, I've told you this history too many times. Film, so you were talking a second ago about like uh, people just love opening stuff that, when they don't know what's inside. So I, I had a package. I knew it was in it. I had this package it was delivered from Amazon, and my daughter is there. I said. You know, does anyone want to open up this package? And she said, yeah, 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 me, me. I said, you, and she gets starts tearing into it. She's getting all excited. I just want you to know, it may not be that exciting. And she's opening it, opening it, and then she finally gets it and just boxes of shampoo. Oh my God. <laughs> well, like Monica's product. Like she Chad's, now they're getting excited with the boxes, right? <laughs> yeah. That's just the thing is hair care like products. A bottle of shampoo, yeah. That's <laughs> that sounds like, <laughs> you're hoping for Those something. Those are the so uh, jokes I get. Not necessarily like Pandora's box there. For the Oppenheimer movie, they actually recreated a nuclear blast. Yes, all we really? want to see. see this one yeah, that, that, that's I mean, amazing. They I mean, went to the so high a level as far as like technical mastery. He ain't that nigga like Chris, like James Cameron. I just, James I, Cameron I, I, was, I, I, was the last time you saw a movie in the movie theater? Like three months ago. Three months ago? What about you, Fernando? Last month. What about uh, you? Yeah, I think uh, about three or four weeks ago. I don't go that often. You actually... But... 
huh? Like I, if for me, I mean, I know for I'm me and Monica, see it's been years. I mean, it's been years since I mean, because like I used to love COVID, going to the movies, but I used to love you too. I mean, I'm a big movie fan. COVID, but the thing is, out. COVID came Plus, and killed that part of like, my game. I weirdly like to hate watch for some reason the fucking main actor in that movie. He's never done nothing wrong to me, and he's not even a bad actor. In which Every movie? Time, in Oppenheimer, the main guy. Every time yeah. I see him in a movie, I'm Murphy. Like, is it with Jer- Jeremy? I just want to. I just want to. I Larson, just want to punch that nigga Larson. in the face. I didn't. I, mean, I never even heard of the movie. Murphy. Murphy. You don't know the movie about well, uh, it's just Oppenheimer. One of the like everybody, you know, it's one of the faces I see him. I'm just like, look at this fucking actor ass nigga, like acting <laughs> on screen. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> who's in it? The fucking whoever the lead guy is for Oppenheimer. I don't dislike the Some nigga. Somebody did hear that. Cillian Murphy, Cillian Murphy, I think that's his oh, name. Oh, I like him. Yeah, I don't the, know. Yeah. Take a little yeah, walk. Cool. Yeah. I just like to, I just, I like to hate watch him. I just see him and I'm just like, look at this nigga acting with his face. It's not <laughs> even that his face is ugly. He it's just look, like when I see but, his face, but I just, you know what? What? what okay, so what he was doing watch, with the you face? Did you watch uh, Peaky Blinders? No, but I remember. That's why. That's why you don't like him. I would see the I would see the shorts and hate that. So can I tell you what he was doing with his face? Is what he was trying to do was um he was trying to show the traumatic load that Oppenheimer was under for creating this nuclear bomb because what he's famous for is um there's a a, the a poem. poem the Bhagavad Gita oh, yeah. yeah I've become Shiva the destroyer of worlds oh, right but that's also the last three words he got it people already know that okay great that, but that's the last three words or the last sentence in T S Eliot's yeah, but it's uh, everything I the wasteland. I could see him in a Speaking Disney of movie anti-Semites. about <laughs> following up Cillian yeah. Murphy. He was in in yeah, the no, Dark Knight. Was he was the scarecrow in the Dark Knight. You didn't like him that's there. Probably, I think that's where it started. I think that's where it started. So he was. Yeah, a, just a cre- before. I yeah, think he was, was a, a creepy dark asshole. So he was. Like, so he did such a good job as a villain that you hate him now for real. No, because it's not like a dislike of him as a character. It's just like when I see the nigga abs, I don't like seeing him act. I'm, I'm not gonna let you. I'm not gonna let you talk shit on the name of Cillian Murphy. Okay, I'm here to defend him. Nigga look weird. I don't know. <laughs> he got a weird vibe to him. It just seemed but like the way you're holding a mic. You know it's what, like you're you know, hell, you, you know like why? News. <laughs> that, he's just, he's just, he's on a whole nother level of acting, dude. Where he actually embodies Man, no, no, no. He decent. the fucking soul happened. of the fucking person that he's trying to Wait, portray. He somebody. gets into this is a whole nother level, dude. He's like, well, you can make your face like that and shit. Like you, when you can, when you can start contorting your face and changing your things and making people feel some kind of way, you're fucking doing a good job yeah, as an entertainer. Yeah, I know what acting is. We're not talking about his acting skills. It's like the same type of feeling I have when British actors play niggas on TV. Like, bro, this is a Nigerian from London. Why he in the middle of South Central? Or like, not hating on him or any of them. It's just like, bro, you couldn't find one nigga in the states that could. Yeah, well, they you know they do um, that all the time. The same kind on, of exactty when I on, get when I see on that his guy. defense once again. I don't know why. He nailed the accent, and they really like his mannerisms with a cigarette. That's what I was trying to tell these guys that they don't realize that American is an accent, and I tried yeah, to tell no, them it's like not. they they there's like they guys think it's so American they don't know that it's an accent, and because you know what you know when the, when I realized it it took me a while too when I realized it is when I went traveling when I was younger even though I was born in India. Mm-hmm. I have a. Th- they say I have a thick no, American accent. No, you're just traveling to where accents come from. <laughs> <laughs> then you gotta England. always look at it as number one. All right. If we're gonna go down, if this is the end of the American Empire, you do you really want to go down like? If you want to keep it real, if you, ca- if you want to keep it real, they don't be using pounds; they use dollars. So as long as there's dollars anywhere in the world, that means you ain't got but no you accent. You know what I? You know what I did notice though is yeah. uh, when I was in like Europe and and uh, and Morocco is. If you're with someone who's British, they the people from those other countries can't tell the difference between the accents. Uh, between what? The British and an American uh, Shut accent. Shut the fuck up. I'm, I'm dead serious. They can't. A lot of them can't. That's why they still live the in mud huts. I'm just kidding. Oh my God, I've got friends in America. America is the default <laughs> accent. <laughs> They're great in soccer. What's that? You know? America is a default accent. Like when you see a black person, on your you expect them to speak like American, like if not proper American no, I'm English, serious. you expect them to speak like some version of American slangy box, whatever, right? But like, if you know, if a nigga from London, you know how you expect that nigga to speak. You know, you like, oh, he about to sound hella African like or Evis, British. Like uh, whatever his name is. <laughs> like, you know, like, he about to sound like one of these two things. Okay, but, but but you white, you know, you put your white accent when you're talking to a white person. Sometimes, uh, sometimes, sometimes. I saw like, you talking to him, we disagreed very differently. Accent. Let me hear I probably you just don't curse as much. I pretty much got a decent speaking voice. Like, I just there it I'll, is. I'll you hear it or not? You hear it now? They keep laughing. You have a speech voice? Huh? You have a speech voice? You have a speech voice? Like, said, you, like if you're giving no, a speech. No, I grew up in like, I grew up between like 
Berkeley in fucking like Las Vegas in like the super formative years. So you got to think like for the most part, I was around hella white people. Yeah. So like, yeah, I was around niggas. I'll stick to my niggas. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But like being around that many white people. Were you around like hippie talking, white people? Like hippie huh? white, hippie white Berkeley people? Um, some of them, but you like, know, you know I mean, the white people, type. all white people were the same to me. They're just white people. Because they all turn, as, as soon as white people hit oh, 30. Oh, no, there's many different types of white people. They all turn into the same type of person. Oh, bro. Oh, well, oh, once you so... get enough drinks in them, they like to drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm changing for you right now. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't consider you white, Josh. You're Jewish. Come on, Thank let's you. keep it real. So then, and then first, then you're gonna ask the Italians are gonna want to be white, and yeah. then the uh, Spanish, and Forget then the Portuguese. About, yeah, no, we can't make it. We can't give them all white a white card. No, actually, we discovered he was white. You know why? Let me tell you why. <laughs> with, and I and I say this with all you the can't tell the look at this is how you know if you're white. If you get so fucked up, are ankle look, if you, you look get at fucked that. up, fucking white. <laughs> look, no, no, all white boys do this. They all get fucked up. And they fucking play fucking Pink Floyd, Wish You Were Here. They all fucking do it. Every single fucking one of them when they get fucked up. That's how you know you're white. I asked Josh, I was like, hey, do you get fucked? Like, dude, I was telling Danny, because he's from Russia. I was like, Danny, like when white boys get like, like do a lot of fucking like, like they party hella hard. They all get fucked up and they get all emotional and they play Pink Floyd's You Wish You Were Here. No, I don't get, uh, I don't get emotional though. You don't get emotional no, about that song? No. You were just glad you're not in Vietnam? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wish You Were Here is a song by Pink Floyd about being in Vietnam or fucking dodging the, no, it dodging isn't. the draft. No, it isn't. Was that? Is no, it? Wasn't the, that's not what it was about? No, it's, a, the it's, draft? A, it's a No, it's about uh, Sid Barrett, who used the to be The only thing I know Floyd. about Pink Floyd oh, was something that, about Shining like on and Crazy yeah. Diamonds. Oh, shit. It was about him? Yeah. Know. Oh shit! No, I didn't even know that. I are you niggas are way. You gotta think. Hold on, hold on, bro. Y'all losing this. Y'all talking about Pink Floyd? You gotta think, bro. Think about when Pink Floyd came out. Y'all yeah. getting too deep into Pink Floyd? It's two niggas <laughs> over here. We got two millennials. We have no idea what y'all okay, talking about. Okay, so check about. this out, though. But Pink Floyd, <laughs> he's the number one selling band the like in albums the to Rainbow this day. Druid. I know that. No, but let me explain. <laughs> <to> you <laughs> what happened. Yeah. They had a they had a dude that went fucking nuts on from like partying on the album. Um and what, what, what did he play, Josh? What, what, do you, what did he play? Yeah, in, in the band, I don't yeah. know what he played. Well, they play all kinds of instruments. But anyway, he went nuts and fucking. They did that song about him, but they still like he was. He's like super. They cut him his commission checks, so he's like like super like skits out living in a crazy place. But he's got like he's worth like thirty or forty million. Well, he's dollars. dead now. Yeah. So well, that's the state of it. Um, well, there it is. Has there, it is. there it is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He died with forty million though. Holy he and it kept on doubling. How much of that did he take to the grave? Down. Yeah, three dollars. Three dollars. He's gonna die with. He's money. three lucky dollars. Yeah, yeah. no. The, um, I want to be shot in the space. Just send me somewhere dumbass far. Like put me in a casket and just. And I want to see if somebody catch me. Like, oh, we could bring this nigga back. I, like, when, I got the plug on when, that when, with my friend Don. If I if I know I'm terminal, I want to put on like five hundred pounds and throw myself down a well. So it's really hard to get me out of there. That's called depression. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's like wanting to be tortured. That's called death. depression. Oh, cool, now feed me to the poor when I'm done with this. <laughs> thing. That's called the Fuck Buddhist. It. That's the Buddhist burial. They just throw the bodies over the top of the hill and let the vultures eat them at the no, bottom. No, no, no. Feed me to they the poor. The let's, yeah, no. Let's make some pork dishes with it. You know. No, I just feel like if oh, aliens me. do exist and they catch a nigga, like they're gonna be able to bring me back. So it's like I was gonna be in the ground anyway. Who's gonna bring you back? Aliens. Aliens. If they exist. Or I'm going to just be a body floating through space forever and ever until it all ends. And then it's like, well, I got to last longer than everybody else anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, Aliens. 250 racks. Like, couldn't you just pop, pony up a little bit more and just go up in one of those rockets? I don't want to go see the Titanic. <laughs> I don't want to get that in a shit. bunch of rockets with they white did that, people. That's like, like so James you know Cameron in 92. I don't want to touch nothing. I don't touch nothing, nigga. What's up? You know, you know Elon Musk knocked a Tesla out in space. And yeah. speaking of, Bro, who's really going to win the fucking nigga. cage fight between him and Zuckerberg? Who you think? Who, Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg. You got your money on Zuckerberg? He's an Android, yeah. They yeah, just put a new software too. update. That's all they did. He's AI? Yeah. He's yeah. They just put a new software update. Now he fights. Elon fight. Musk is the... Yeah, I hate Elon Musk, bro. I'll never I, not say that shit. I, 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 really I, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to hope that Elon, like... Like pulls like I don't know what he's gonna do. Like I hope he does some like 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 steroids or whatever, and just tries to get in there and just start like straight fucking. Cause he's African, so I'm like hella rooting for him. <laughs> yeah, South Africa. A very successful African American. The richest man in the yeah. world is African. <laughs> Smartest man in the world is African right now. Well, his father is a big inventor too. That's how was he, he really? That doesn't surprise yeah. me. 
Like no, his father is a jewelry man, right? Like like diamonds and no, precious No, well, he's not jewels. around anymore, but he uh, I think he was an inventor. His father was Jewish? <laughs> <laughs> well, he owned mine. Well, actually, yeah. to tell you the truth, like we actually looked that up in South Africa. It was owned by British and the uh, Belgians. It was yes. a dual owned company, okay. yeah. No, I said I looked it up. So, <laughs> anyway, back to what I was saying. It's like the um, that that uh, that they made a lot of money down in South Africa from that. But he yeah, made his absolutely. money. He went to Stanford. He went to Stanford. He was doing like postgrad in Stanford. That's when he like after Stanford he came out with uh, Tesla. And he was balding. Have you seen that picture of him on his dorm room? Dorm room. He he's balding, and then like five years later he's got. Both. No, no, They're um, both balding, right? Both. No, no. Um, Elon Musk. Okay, can I tell you something? No. I don't care. I don't care what Zuckerberg if he wins or not. Elon Musk gets a better pussy. <laughs> Elon Musk gets a better pussy. So yeah. like to me, he already won. Like he straight up gets like better. Like I mean, he won in life. Bezos like that. Like Mackenzie, she, she was kind of hot though. I like, don't even say she wasn't kind of hot. Question, a real question. Honest answer. Everybody just honest answer this honestly, right? Okay. If Elon Musk replaced Seneca here. Do you think this would be a better podcast or a worse one? Not just for his celebrity. I'm not talking about in terms of reach and shit like that, but just what he would add in value in terms of humor and like information. Um, I think it would be fantastic. Yeah, I, I think it, it would It'd be, be okay. fantastic because it would get me to stop less. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. So that would already make it better. I asked him to those, come on last. That would already make it better. Nipples, yeah. The yeah, baker and nipples. Fantastic. <laughs> If you can get me off the fucking mic, it's always going to be better. In fact, if, if Elon Musk wanted to come on, I'd, I'd replace either one of you. Too. I could do it right now. Look. Okay, look. Say something about anything. Um, AI drones. But you got to ask me a question, though. Do you think AI drones are going to replace delivery drivers? I, I think. I think. <laughs> I'd like to say it's too early to know. But, I mean, you look at the way technology is moving and... Um, at some point, it's going to convalesce into something. <laughs> I mean, I mean, just based on the 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 orders of magnitude in which technology the data that's been acquired thus far. Exactly, bro. And he's going to do that, and then everybody's going to sit here with bated breath, like. I, I, I was, I was waiting. Yeah, yeah. Get, and, get and, on, and, and, yeah. I'm going to be the nigga I, that get AI generated. <laughs> out, and I'm like, this nigga don't do math. I was I waiting for a. Else. That's a good question. Our engineers that's a good are working question. on that. Yeah. With Tesla. <laughs> Maybe then, right. no, no, no. But then he always sells something, though. Do you notice this? And then let me tell you something that's funny that you should ask because our engineers are working with that on Tesla right now, and we're gonna have drones flying oh, with oh, all oh our yeah, cars. Oh, right now. If you didn't know, next year outside right now. <laughs> yeah, that's a crazy. Button. You can you can make your Tesla. Have your favorite port loaded and ready to go. Maybe if we have them on, we can have like a, a with a AI. Map. We plan on having it to where you the <laughs> car drives you. Questions from the figure out. Mm. Yeah. You're right. He always plugs his, his yeah, Tesla cards on the end. He pauses for a second for no reason. Um, yeah. I'd say, say that, and then he tries to get into some techno drive, but he don't even know what he's saying. <laughs> I don't like that nigga. I it's a bunch of people man. that's like, whatever. If I Elon don't Musk, like that nigga. If Elon Musk um, were on this show, let's hypothetically, then, what's the first question you think that I would ask him? Because I, I how strong is your Musk? You'd ask Musk? something about AI. You'd be like, so with AI, how do you think AI and Tesla nope, would? Would not even ask him that. What, what about the him? lithium uh, uh, plantation you have over there with the slaves in Africa? No. Well, he is from Africa. He's no, no, but, yeah. home. He needs the lithium for the batteries of the cars. Yeah, he's just trying to hook his brothers up. He's no. just trying to bring the work back home. <laughs> he's exploiting he's children really... and people for, for. Well, I mean, somebody's got to. They got to work, right? Somebody's going to get anything. Somebody's got to you know do the job. You know, you know what's worse than lithium <laughs> dust in your lungs? Poverty. Bro. Starvation. <laughs> They don't have fentanyl darts like I do. And if you think I about it, I got fentanyl darts. They're just think... blowing regular fucking, like regular fucking <laughs> darts. He is creating a lot of darts, jobs, bro. right? That's not what they. That's what I said. I had, that's that's one of my jobs. Nobody <laughs> shoots guns. They blow darts at me. the rich. Yes. No, I'm just saying, dude. Like, look, Elon Elon Musk. Like, the first question I would ask him was like, I ask him about pussy. Like, what's the best pussy you got? Like, I know you're fucking... I wouldn't believe, of course. I wouldn't believe shit he said. I wouldn't imagine. I, I wouldn't think Elon Musk for a better fucks show. pussy. I think Elon Musk pays women to get pregnant. No, no. I don't think that nigga's a regular person, bro. Like, he's a real weirdo. Oh, he's like Michael like, Jackson? Like, he he came up on... No, no, no. He yeah, came up on the... Them. Ellen Musk came up on the trial be, between Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. And apparently he was Amber like... Hurts. like, Yeah, Amber Heard. I'm not alone with you. Apparently, on the text was like... 
special. How many hits we would get if we had Elon Musk? And I cool special, like a cool retarded dude. He's like one of them. No, but like, like, you like, had three with, would, with then my second question, tell a girl. My second question is, does he know any of the words to his own rap song? Oh, yeah. Because yeah. there's a rap song about Elon Musk, so what? I would want if he knows the own. Okay, Google, play Elon Musk. Oh, uh, we don't need that. Yeah, we don't need this shit. <laughs> he really <laughs> loves it immediately. This is where, look, we be cool. This is where we always break, though. He really like Elon Musk. Stop no, I just like that he has a rap. Sold. He just has a rap. You know who Elon Musk is? Elon Musk is the nigga that come to the session with no weed but tell you how good the weed he growing at home is. <laughs> I don't <laughs> like that nigga, bro. You don't have His cousin grows some dank, but I couldn't really get any. He, he was tripping, but like, let me that. Like, when you get home, he's like that. with a bag. Like, how the fuck? Every, I don't like that nigga, man. He's the worst. Here's the thing. When you get hella rich like that, people don't even make you pay for anything. They pay for everything just to acquire a little bit of a nug or some knowledge off of you. No. That's what being rich and powerful is all about. People want to hang around with you. It's so twisted. The richer you get, the less shit you pay for. And they're not living in reality. That's why they think that like we're gonna if we pour enough money into it, we're going to build a city in the desert. No, you're not. You're not about to build no big twenty million what person city, in the, like bro, hell no. What about in uh, Dubai right now, where they're building that uh, the line? Yeah, yeah. So we're Las Vegas about, for that matter. About? It sounds cool. It's easy to dig up a big thing, just but a then strip. you gotta make that motherfucker really work in the middle of like the. It's a lot, man. That's like that shit in Egypt they're building. Did they start and you know it? that eventually there's gonna be little tents on the side and it's gonna start becoming an X instead of an I. You know what I'm <laughs> talking about? Yeah. And then next thing you're gonna be like, oh, because this and that funding, oh yeah, we canceled the project, and it's gonna be like, oh, nobody, they got all that. Like, nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> in the morning, one side's gonna get late. <laughs> I see, the I see some sweaty motherfuckers like <laughs> digging how trenches out in the desert though right now. Yeah, like, they, they apparently they got right it now. started. But here's my here's my thing is like. Is it just like a little bit of land that they just did that and they're like, they, that's a yeah. long Remember the Hyperloop? Desert. Remember the Hyperloop? Yeah. They're still trying to do that shit. Yeah. Not the train? They can't even do the it's train. Fake. It's fake. It's fake. He just say shit. You know what Elon Musk just say shit and people are like, I thought about that. You know what the Hyperloop is, right? Remember that old technology where they're, where they're in offices and they have those like um, uh, tubes coming down for like the and they put the paper in the tubes and slide yeah, them yeah, up yeah, yeah. oh that's right that's basically the hyper tube like that's supposed to work yeah and it's just like bruh the only thing that's gonna work is like Those sucking up our cool. water setting it to LA <laughs> I, I cannot wait for the war waters to happen that's gonna be a fun one the water wars thirsty motherfuckers just <laughs> trying to show each other what aim no that's gonna be fun I they're gonna play Mexicans too you know that right huh yeah, they're going to blame Mexicans for all the water being gone. Of course. Because they blame Mexicans for everything else. All the water else. isn't yeah. going. And it's just going to be all salty. Away. It's just going to be all salty. Like like, like you? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, America probably got something to work. So they're like, oh, we've been had desalination efficiently for like the last hundred years. But like, how could we do that? Well, we got all this water to sell, baby. It's just not. It's, like, it, requires, it, par- it requires a lot of energy to desalinate it. And it's kind of I'm saying, I'm sure, I'm sure they have but an official already, way. Yeah, they off. started doing it. Yeah, you can go nuclear, dude. My dad was a nuclear physicist. He built nuclear power plants. Fucking mm. just go nuclear, dude. That's, the France has been doing nuclear for the last fucking 30 years. We're going to run out of fucking money. You're going to end up at nuclear anyway. You can take it the long way. Right. Because the nuclear is going to power out the electric everything. I just wanted to say this too about the rich people. I fuck with rich people. I just don't fuck with Elon Musk. If you're rich and you're seeing this, I'm actually pretty fun to hang around when they come. I'm in a lot of rich shit myself, even though I don't, can't afford it. Don't don't ask how. But I just don't like Elon Musk. As long as he's not at the party, I'm at the party. We at the party. And don't bring it up, okay? So, what if he brings you know hella <laughs> it, You know? What if he brings hella fucking hotties though, like 32 and shit? Just yeah. fucking write your. Elon Musk was on Jeffrey Epstein airplane. He can keep it. <laughs> or he was in the picture with the bitch. I'm cool. I'm. You got it, P. Was All right. Mar- were was you on? In, would, I would, uh, he was in the picture. Were with you the, with the bitch, on this? Like, were you on this said airplane, Mister Jonathan? No. If you don't show up at a party and I was there and it was like two bitches on his arm, I'd be like, "All right, try up and catch a case. I'm gone." Okay. Get if you don't think that, that I would yeah. jump on Jeffrey Epstein's oh, cool. airplane, you must be high. You must. I get right on that thing. It's just kid, the Lolita Air Express. <laughs> I don't, nobody knows what went on there. If you're, if you say that I'm you wouldn't go man. on that Lolita Express, but I, I would. You, you are high because Monica's sister <laughs> works for the airlines, and she knows some freaky ass shit that really be going down in first class. <laughs> Dude, I, they're freaking on, yeah. Yeah. I, I got, sto- bro, I got stories. I got celebrities. If you want me to name names, no, that's you, the point. Let's see, y'all got to start. If you have fun with celebrities, Clooney? you can't name names or else oh, nobody yeah, else has fun. Yeah, you get banned. Hey, man, that ain't me. I, hey, I keep seeing me. I'm just trying to have a good time. Do some of the premium blow you doing. 
Was it? Uh, I wish I was. I'm, hey, I, I like Party of Rich people. They for the record, if, if, I don't know what was going Rich, on the Lolita Express or who was in it. All right. The Lolita Express. Bill Clinton was on that shit. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He was on that shit. <laughs> nah, yeah. Hey, I know who's on that shit. Yeah. Like, we already know who was on that shit. Hey, I was on that shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That's where AI originated at. Fucking Advanced India, <laughs> little Saint John. He was on it. I wish I was. They were taking all those kids and just feeding them into an AI machine, like sentience. Like we have to keep feeding them brains, and then they would rape the kids and then feed the brains to the AI machine, and then finally they were like, "We got AI." And then they, Jeffrey Epstein was like, "But I got AI." They were like, "You're dead." And that was and Matrix Four. True story. That's how it happened. It's always something you know. Different. Can I tell you something? You know who was like really hot in that story was not Jeffrey Epstein. Was his. Um, Protege Gillian Maxwell because she set all that shit up. You, you know, okay, let me tell you what really went down, bro. You mean the um, yoga instructor? Well, I have, I'm not that I'm an expert, but I've listened to a couple of books on this. Okay, mm-hmm. so um, basically, the whole thing with um, is not that's not an episode. Gill- Gillian Maxwell, her dad was in like the OSS, so this is old rich white people spy shit. So basically, what the, was the, like the spy shit was spy from like upper classes. When the OSS, it was all done by rich people. They're just getting they would spy. Yeah, they would go to these expensive parties, get motherfuckers to show up, and then try to get them to spill secrets. They still do that now. Yeah, absolutely. So you know they call that Washington, <laughs> <laughs> wherever, whatever, 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 whatever capital uh, intrigue and. Yeah, I used to uh, want to takes... work for the CIA when I was like 17, 18, like fresh noon. I was like, bro, I'll really a fuck around because the CIA ain't not the police to me. You feel me? I'm like the CIA. They're gonna give me a black budget, and they're gonna be like, bro. Destabilize this shit over here, like, <laughs> dude. They took bad, down the, um, they took, did they took down the, <laughs> <I'm not sure. laughs> you know, I would have, you know, I got Afghanistan. I'd introduce them to crack. Oh yeah. Oh, I saw you niggas ain't seen nothing like this yet. Uh, come here, BB. For the record, game some, game I respect good old, the institutions in the U.S. community. I saw a special on uh, in Afghanistan. They did. The Muslim Pookie. <laughs> so they were, uh, they were, no, no, no. When the American so when American was there. They did actually have a big giant fentanyl and blah, blah, blah epidemic. Mm. And the first thing the Taliban did is they like, they go hunting down the drug people and they take them out to these camps. And uh, the, the die rate is like 20% of these camps, but they sober them up and then they send them back out. But they literally capture them and take them out to like a boot camp. Man, to get them they didn't clean. get them niggas cracked. It was like it was fentanyl and um, that me- they got methamphetamines out there. I would have gave them crack and Arabic rap music. <laughs> And they're like, hey, rock with this for 10 years. See what happened. Well, they got rid they of the poppy fields, too. Oh, Afghanistan, suicidal. Iran, that shit would have spread. The whole Middle East would be one white rock right now, okay? Well, I mean, that's how they tried to get... Um, a lot of people don't know, the Roosevelt funny, the Roosevelt family made a lot of money um, selling opium or creating the opium epidemic in uh, China. You know, they, mm-hmm. they actually made... They, they sold... They, we, we made a killing fucking slung. But you can buy opium, heroin, you any of that. Like like and insane. then Queen you Victoria. It's yeah, like it's a bad cool. thing. Like it's a bad thing. But... We should have taken them out. Then. I would have sold the crack to the Arabs and the Muslims. <laughs> as soon as the towers was hit, I would have shipped over a boatload of crack and rap music. I mean, like, hear these beats and just, just speak it. Talk about your environment. And hit they don't really do crack, do they? Because they didn't... They don't think... They don't that's drink. why I need to be in the CIA. If they don't really, but if, if you don't they? drink... What, like they, like in the Middle East and shit. Like are they? Crack, Listen, there's no crack. Do you want to destabilize? Like, you want to destabilize Iran right now? They got a young population <laughs> of people who are angsty. Give them gangs, <laughs> bro. You ever? Do you ever? You ever wonder? They have gangs when you got religion. Or, no, I'm talking gangs. About or real don't do American that. Gangs, religious, bro, not that. Never. Not no religious Shiite Muslim. You all for one could know. I'm talking about real gang. You got to give them a drug and you got to give them gangs and you give them ten years of that. And yeah, they don't do it. Gangs of New York, great movie or not great movie? I fuck with Gangs of New York. That was York. a good, really good movie. Gangs of New York I was fuck hard. Gangs of New Have you York. seen Gangs of New York, Fernando? Yeah, I loved it. Well, we're coming to the end here. So, um, what if you want to, you know, talk about what you guys got coming up one more time? I know you have a gig coming up in August. Let me look. Let me look. Let me look. Let me look. Is this live? Fernando. It's not live. Mm-hmm. Oh, for everybody that's live, um, <laughs> I'm not going to be telling the anti-Semitic jokes, but, but we're going to have a comedy showcase on oh, well, Friday. Now no, now no one's going to want to go. Friday, June 30th. Uh, <laughs> it's a rainbow show. So any rainbow people watching, go ahead and visit us. He talking about leprechauns. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, talk about OMG. Friday, oh. June 30th. Uh, Pride, farewell. Come down to Club OMG in San Francisco. 8 p.m. to 9.30, we're going to have a comedy showcase, beer, pizza, and then some trans show afterwards. So if you didn't get enough fucking done during Pride Week, 
Mm-hmm. And you're proud of fucking yourselves since, since we fucked ourselves by creating fucking AI. Yeah, if you want to fuck funny this Friday, go to Club OMG. And the numbers <laughs> aren't there. <laughs> Fernando says that there's going to be some fucking ass so he can fucking t- fuck jo- it up for the fucking final few days of Friday. Hand jobs in the bathroom. Or just look for me. And it doesn't have to be. I said ass so women, men, <laughs> skunks. Everybody's welcome. Whatever brings people Whatever, in. Yeah. Friday, Whatever. June 30th, Club OMG. Uh, and I finally got the flyer. Boost. For what? August 3rd, you can catch a nigga at Comedy Night at World's Famous Winter's Tavern in 1522 San Francisco Boulevard, Pacifica, California. That's motherfucking Gold Rush Comedy. Who August is, 3rd. Who's on, the, who's on the bill? Uh, it's hosted by Jacob Blazer and Jimmy Menezes. Men, Men, Menzes. Yeah, Menzes. Yeah. Menzes. Yeah. August 3rd, comedy night. Show. Catch me there, 8 o'clock. August 3rd, 8 Jake, p.m. Jacob, Jacob was actually on the show. Oh, sweet. See? Episodes. So now you get to see two show alumni. Now. Yeah. And then Panaki's slowly going to become the Jewish Indian he always wanted to be. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make an anti-Semitic joke, but I, I, I was waiting all day, and that's the one I came up with, so... So if you guys want to see uh, Circumcision live, you know where to... <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. That's it. Sorry. <laughs> so anyway, um, thanks for um, tuning into that the, the hacks. Um, six, episode 16, um, down in the books. We got a few more uh, comedians to go through. Um, I think we get Ryan. Ryan was supposed to be on. Remember I told you Ryan? He had dog chew on bottles. Uh, we, throw, we just... Toss them in the recycling, whatever. No, I recycle. I let her chew on them first. Let's anyway, so we got a few. More. We, 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 we'll, pro- we'll, we'll probably be um, coming on once a week um, for the next few weeks. And um, tune in. Thank Thanks you for the invitation. Thank you for hey, listening. Hey, by the way, 67% of the people that are watching, if you watch this far, which you probably haven't, but if you have, have not hit the subscribe button, and you just hit a like and subscribe so we can um, hook up our algorithms. And I can get diamonds in my teeth next time. Yeah, just hook up the hit the subscribe button, man. Um, if you watch the show, we're, we're, doing, we're putting it up for um, up for free. We don't have any sponsors yet. But if you hit that subscribe button, we can definitely maybe get some type of uh, subscribe viewership. And we don't really we don't want Patreon or any of that stuff because we want to offer you the entertainment and the actual personalities of a lot of the comics that are here in the Bay Area. So just hit the subscribe button. What the fuck? Get free t-shirt too. Oh, and you're gonna get a sticker if you hit the subscribe button. I talk about burying the lead and you'll be in a contest to win a free t-shirt all the people that do the show are going to get their own t-shirt and if i can get off my ass i'll get over to the printers and get you guys some t-shirts the only the people that are on the show so they're not for sale so like it's kind of a floss to just have it you know what i mean i'm, I'm not you're not gonna get three jonathan but for it. what's that i bought some shoes for it the shirt make a fit really yeah bro i like shit like that that's it like would you get like the hacks monkey on like the side of the shoe or something no, like just, just straight matching way, like to and make it it's going to be a nice shirt. I'm going to add the, this is going to be like one of the things, Gucci like oh one yeah. Of, one of the things I'm not going to do is I'm not going to make it so it's like that thick ass material it's going to be like nice and thin and comfortable and I'm just doing them in black. So I can everybody, you know. You got to get you some terry show. cloth. I ain't going to lie. What's that today? I, I, I don't oh, know. I just know that one time I tried that shirt. Isn't that like a towel? Like, what? <laughs> a terry cloth shirt? I think it's terry cloth. That's like a fabric, right? Yeah, it's like yeah, the, the, it's hella soft, right? The yeah, Terry Actually, Cloth, I had like one pair we're, of shorts, and I don't know what I did with the motherfuckers. I'm so sad. We're going to be, uh, go old style. It's going to be like fish netting. <laughs> <laughs> like, those, like when you were playing freshman football, and you had to wear the half shirts. Hey, I thought it was all over. Ah!